Well, we're back at Legendary Motor Car and work's continuing on the 69 L88 Corvette. Now, when we got the car back and got it stripped, we realized that we're dealing with a really nice bodied car. All original panels, never been wrecked. All the steel pieces, no rust in them. Nice, clean body. But there are lots of little stress cracks, lots of little areas that need some attention. One of those areas is typically where the front bumpers would bolt to, and lots of times the bumpers get tapped slightly and they create a stress crack or even create a hole. On this front corner here, what we had to do after we got it back from the blaster is we had to dig out the original body filler, and you V that out with just a little Dremel, and then you keep working on that area until you've got all of the body work out of there. You can't lay fiberglass over top of body filler. You have to get down to the original fiberglass. Once that area is nice and clean, keep blowing it out so you don't have dust in there. You start to lay in the resin. The resin itself bonds to the fiberglass and then we start laying in strands of fiberglass. Now as opposed to using a sheet of fiberglass, the strands will attach themselves individually to the existing fiberglass. You get a little bit re better repair, especially for a small crack, and you don't get as much fiberglass build. Now it's really important to keep putting resin on, using the brush, work in the fiberglass, put on more resin, work in some more fiberglass strands, and keep building it up until you're just about even with the top. Then you take a DA and you sand it smooth. Go back to, back to the original step. You'll see a couple little divots in that, lay in some more resin, a little bit more fiberglass. Now on this side, we had another problem. What had happened was there was an earlier repair here and we saw before we stripped the car that there was actually some cracking going on. The earlier repair was so thin that it just fell in as soon as the, the panel was stripped and there was actually a hole here. So the process is now is you have to, again, grind out all the body filler that's in there. You have to put fiberglass on fiberglass. It won't stick to the filler. It won't be a good repair. So they grind out that whole area, make sure it's a nice clean uh, repair, and then you can see you have to have something to fill against, so we back tape it from the inside and, and start laying in the fiberglass strand again, using resin, resin first, then the fiberglass strand, and just keep repeating that process and repeating the process. Then you have to work the edge of the uh, inside here where the hood butts up against it and do the same thing. Make a, a sort of pattern with your tape behind it and then keep working in the fiberglass uh, mat and the resin and keep trying to get every air pocket out of there. It's a tedious process but worth it in the end. Now once you're finished that you have this rough sort of area here that needs to be shaped and what you take is a simple DA 40 grit paper on it and just keep shaping that area both on the top surface and the inside surface. The inside you can use a Dremel to get it nice and round, the top you want to use the DA. After that's done, we're at the stage that we're at right now. We're actually using vet fill to fill in on the fiberglass repair itself. And you're all actually using the vet fill as well to do a little bit of straightening. The fiberglass isn't really straight, and like I said earlier, Larry wants to make this thing better than original, but just not go overboard. So that's the stage we're at now. We'll also fit the panel shortly, and then we'll start the polysurfacer process and the blocking out process.